they are like coming out, spotting it. Pow, they are just like hammering down on it. Oh man. Kind of feels like cheating on your taxes or definitely don't be cheating on your spouse. But maybe cheating on creek fishing's okay. Maybe. Hey, you guys, I'll let you guys decide that one. I'm just glad to caught fish. Pull in here and get me charged up this morning. I need some coffee. Red, you want a pup cup? She goes, you know it, Dad. Give me one of them pup cups. Give me two. Them pup cups are delicious. Thank you. All right. Oh my goodness, Nash. Look what they gave you. Hold up. Hold up. Clean that side. I clean that side. All right, save red time. Mm. Drag. Always crucial. I'm gonna work these baits really slow today. Just try to let them pick them up off the bottom starting to warm up so they seem to be hiding out under a lot of cover right now trying to get out of the sun i got her a little bit earlier today so that the sun wasn't directly overhead so i could fish this pocket while it was shady Well, exactly what I anticipate, kind of the way the day was going to start out is kind of playing out. Uh, I can see most of these smallies are all tucked up already under the ledges of rocks. And some of them really aren't even, I'm seeing them kind of look out, but they're not putting a lot of energy and effort into anything. So maybe that'll change. It is earlier in the day. So they may be coming off where they fed, you know, pretty heavily before or right at daybreak. We'll see, I'm gonna have to keep working this slow. I'm just working this stick bait, Texas rig, and uh, got some whiny dogs out here today. What are you guys whining for? You guys being whiners. All right, we're gonna push down. What's that, Nash? What's that bait, buddy? First day of the day. There's our first one. Think about like last week's first one. What did you see? Maybe 12 inches. Got some cuts on the side there. Let's get him. Ooh, look at that old battle wound too. Something, something bit him. I can feel that's a good scar. Let's get him back in the water. little commentary I knew that this day was going to start out kind of slow and um, so I'm working between the two baits that I've used here in the last past couple weeks that have proven to be successful so I've been using my four inch finesse worm and a five inch stick bait uh, both of them uh, one of them in a, a bluegill and the other just in a kind of a dark green kind of pumpkin seed color but 
today, man, it was just absolutely rough. I didn't catch my first fish until about 45 minutes in and wasn't a big guy. And then I had about another two hour spell where I didn't catch anything. And then I got this bright idea. I was like, I can't catch anything on these things. I'm gonna catch some crawdads. I'm gonna show you what transpired and I'm glad I tried it because it worked out great. Check it out. one of these guys on tip it and just see what'll happen. Another one. All right. Stop. Stop, you little turkeys. All right. I'm gonna try this real quick. I mean, something's gotta work. That's what we got? Bowl of crawdaddies. I guess if they don't work, these guys are on tonight's menu. I'm just gonna tip these guys in the tail. There. See? I figure out what they're wanting. That's a food source. Oh, yeah, I got one. Good smiley. Good smiley. Woo! Good one. Good one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is a good one. Come on, come on, baby. This might be my new personal best out here. Everybody get it in. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, come on. Ooh, he's big. He's big. Come here. Come on. Oh my gosh. This is definitely my personal best out here. This is definitely my personal best. Please let me land this guy. Please. I don't have much battery left either. Man, these crawdads are working out great. This is fun. Not only am I having fun catching them, but man, it is turning these smallies on like crazy. This is definitely my personal best out here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is a tank. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. 16, 18. 18 inches. This sucker is over 18 in a creek. Here, I gotta get in the water. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh look at this. Oh gosh. Off the crawdad. Oh my god! 
That is so, you guys come in here and celebrate with me. I can't believe it. It has been so slow today. That's only number two that I caught, but I tell you what, to catch that personal best, I would have never in a thousand years thought I would have caught an 18 inch smallie in this creek. Never. That guy just absolutely blew my other guy out of the water. Girth and length. Holy. Ooh. I guess I'm gonna go crawl down hunting. I kind of feel cheating doing it, but if I'm not catching fish, I gotta do something to catch him. That was a beast. Woo! Yes! Woo! Today was slow, but if it wasn't for the crawl daddies, the day probably wouldn't have been salvaged. I ended up catching five smallmouth and one red eye, one 18 inch and one 16 inch. So my original PB was close to 16, six and a half. So I almost matched my PB and then exceeded it by another two inches today on the crawdads. And their bellies are fat. I guess with them coming off bed now, I'm assuming they're just gorging starved probably from where they've been protecting the beds but uh dog days of summer man you gotta work for it and uh i kind of feel like i was cheating using the crawdads but uh versus catching nothing or catching my pb i'm going to cheat i guess well hey fishing family thanks so much for tuning in i appreciate it we're getting hot we're going to cut out here a little early till next time Grab your poles, call your buddies, get there, make some members, give me some elbow. Whew, I need a milkshake. Have a great week. I love you guys. Be safe, and we'll see you really soon.